about a non-biblical depiction of a Christ-like figure, that story is next. A controversial play is sending shockwaves from New York City across the whole country when a theater announced it would be performing a non-biblical depiction of a gay Jesus Christ character. It got death threats and backed down. But as reporter Cynthia Tornquist reports, plans for the play are back on. Despite death threats, the Manhattan Theater Club in New York City has decided to produce a controversial play about a gay Christ-like character. In our 25-year history, we have never censored a play nor turned a play down because of content. In the face of these accusations, we took steps to further evaluate what has always been the only issue for us, safety and security. Last week, the theater company announced it would not produce Terrence McNally's new play, Corpus Christi, this fall, after it received death threats against the playwright and members of the theater staff. The threats began after a New York tabloid reported the play was about a gay Jesus who had sex with his apostles. The theater staff played a tape of one call. The Catholic League for Religious and Civil Rights has launched a campaign to stop the production. It's the idea that Jesus is portrayed as an active homosexual uh, uh, engaged in sex with the apostles, we find a highly, highly offensive. Terrence McNally, who has won Tony Awards for his plays Love, Valor, Compassion and Masterclass and has been nominated for a Tony Award for writing the book for the musical Ragtime, told CNN recently he is upset people have criticized his work even before it's been staged. This is certainly not a play that is of the school painting a mustache on the Mona Lisa or let's make fun of the Catholic Church. It's nothing to do with that. Playwrights who had condemned the theater company for the decision to shelve the McNally play backed its decision to go forward, including Pulitzer Prize winner Tony Kushner. We think it's um, incredibly important to tell bigots and crazy people that in New York City, uh, freedom of expression is sacrosanct. Now, despite the continuing pressure, the Manhattan Theater Club says it will stand by its decision to run the play.